afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and happy Monday. Welcome back to another weather update here on Liam's Weather. We are only five days away from Christmas. It honestly doesn't seem possible in my book. This year has just flown by, in my opinion, and I would honestly assume that most of you feel the exact same way that I do. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at what's going to be happening over the next several days in your forecast for Christmas, as many of you will be uh, heading out to see your family after you may not have been able to see them over the past one to two years because of the pandemic. Let's first go ahead and start off this video by taking a look at the temperatures across the board. It is a very, very, very cold and frigid day across most of the central and northern plains where we are finding temperatures anywhere from the single digits up into the 20s. Obviously, it is plenty cold enough to snow, but unfortunately, there's just not enough moisture or precipitation in the atmosphere to make for any snow. And because of that, I don't think many of us will be seeing a white Christmas, even if you're in the northern United States, I really don't think that you'll be seeing enough snow to call it a quote-unquote right, uh, white Christmas, but we'll take a look at that coming up in just a couple of minutes. As you head more southward towards the portions of the Mississippi Valley and also across the deep south, anywhere from Oklahoma down into Texas, temperatures right now are in the 40s up into the 60s, and as you head across the Gulf Coast into the southeastern United States, temperatures anywhere from the 40s into the 50s, and a very warm day down, down there in southern Florida with temperatures down in the low 80s. Really the only place in the whole entire country that is currently seeing uh, rain at this time is uh, the northern Gulf Coast where we do have an area of low pressure that will continue to head northeastward and bring most of the southeastern coast a very good shot of rain as we head into tomorrow and then eventually into the morning hours on Wednesday. But as of right now, just a couple of scattered showers and thunderstorms in Baton Rouge um, we're in and around the New Orleans area, right near Gulfport, uh, Mississippi, into Mobile, Alabama, and northward into Jackson, Mississippi. Thankfully, none of this is severe at this time being, but I will keep an eye on that throughout the rest of the day. And before we go any further, I would like to inform you that I um, that I am getting GR Analyst radar software for Christmas, which is a uh, which is probably the most high tech radar software known to man. It is what the National Weather uh, the National Weather Service uses along with many other weather offices. Um, and I will be able to use that for severe weather outbreaks, and it'll be a very, uh, very valuable tool uh, when forecasting and covering severe weather outbreaks. So I just wanted to let you all know um, what was going to be happening over the next several months. So let's go ahead and take a look at our future radar as we head over the next several days. Um, keep a look, keep an eye out for this area of low pressure as we head over the next, I would say, 36 to 48 hours. It will continue to, uh, continue to head northeastward and bring widespread rain to the whole entire southeastern coast, all the way from eastern Mississippi throughout the Gulf Coast into Florida, Georgia, and also the eastern Carolinas um, as we head into tomorrow. And also we're still going to be maintaining that uh, chance for some scattered showers and also thunderstorms as you head into the morning hours on Wednesday. But thankfully it, it should all clear out as you head into the afternoon. And then from this point on until about up to Christmas Eve, it's really going to be a very nice forecast for really the whole entire country. However, that will change. As soon as you get into Christmas Day, a very strong area of low pressure starts to form over the Ohio Valley, and that will bring widespread rain to the whole entire mid-Atlantic and also the Northeast. But thankfully, we, sh we shouldn't see any you know big weather events besides that. But other than that, we're looking at a really nice forecast for your Christmas. I mean, the whole entire central United States is going to be very, very nice. The whole entire Gulf Coast is going to be very, very nice. The whole entire Southeast is going to be very, very nice. Um, just, a, just a minor chance for some scattered showers across uh, portions of the interior northwest. Um, but other than that, it is going to be a very nice forecast. And then eventually, as you head into New Year's, we're still, we're still going to be looking at the exact same thing. So your 10-day forecast for Grand Strand areas along the coastlines of South and North Carolina. As that area of low pressure continues to head northeastward, it will bring us a very good shot of rain as we head into Tuesday and then eventually into the very morning at very early morning hours on Wednesday, where temperatures are going to be steady in the mid-50s, dropping down into the 30s and 40s overnight. A very nice forecast for the rest of the week. And then as Santa himself comes to bring all the presents on Christmas Eve, we could not ask for a better forecast with temperatures in the afternoon warming up into the low to mid-60s, dropping down into the low to mid-50s overnight. And as you head towards your inland areas, really honestly the exact same thing. All of our rain comes tomorrow. When that area of low pressure comes through, temperatures are going to be steady in the low to mid-50s, dropping down into the 30s and 40s overnight. A picture-perfect end-of-the-week forecast as Santa himself comes on Christmas Eve with temperatures in, uh, warming up in the afternoon to the low to, uh, the low to high 60s, dropping down into the 50s and 40s overnight, and even a, uh, even a nicer forecast as we head into the last week of 2021. 
Honestly, you couldn't ask for a better forecast in my opinion, all right? So that is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, once again, if you are brand new to the channel, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so that way you always get notified whenever I go live, post videos, or brand new updates. And also be sure to click that like button if you are enjoying the content. And once again, I will be getting GR Analyst Radar software for Christmas that will be providing me with much more details when it comes to severe weather outbreaks. Alrighty. So that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching and Merry Christmas.